everybody, welcome back to the Gamer's Vault. I'm your host, James. Um, this is a weird video for me. It really is. I've got a overwhelming support from all you guys who subscribe to my channel. So I've got a couple of new subscribers. I want to say thank you for those who just are new to the channel. Thank you for coming. And those of you guys who have stuck with me through and through, again, thank you. I can't appreciate it enough. Since YouTube demonetized the videos and... Uh, um, to be honest with you, I wasn't making much money anyway. As you can see, the subscriber base is not a lot, but I do appreciate that it is growing. You have to have, I guess at this point, 1,000 subscribers and, of course, at least over 4,000 views. I'm not close, but it's okay. I like doing these videos. I like helping people. I love being part of the retro community, and that's what I do. And I'm very honored to be among great friends. I have the friend. Let's go ahead. I want to just do a quick shout out to my friends, real quick, guys. I'm sorry. And then we'll get into the video contents. One is my friend Kieran from the RetroTech 100. Awesome. All my friends from RetroTech 100's Facebook group, I have so many of them there. I, I, guys, I'm so sorry. I, I don't have all your names. So please forgive me. I only know Kieran. I know Benny, Sean, Maroney. I, these are the guys that. I do the po Retro Tech Podcast, Transatlantic Retro Podcast with. As you've seen me said a million times before, I've done them. So it's an honor to be among friends with them for so long. So if you guys haven't checked them out, check out their channels. I'll try to link some more below. Another thing, I was honored um, by uh, Real Life Arcade. Um, I am part of his group of people as well. Um, that, uh, that's the beginning of my videos now. You'll start to see that. Uh, one of his Mavericks, and it's fantastic to be a part of that group as well. So I've got groups like that and friends like the one I have for the retro community. I really don't need YouTube's monetization. I wasn't making money with them anyway. So to me, it's like whatever. I could take it or leave it. Anyway, let's get to the contents of this video. One thing I want to say, I never... Ever, 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 ever go back to mods. Once a mod is done, it is done for me. I, I move forward. I don't like to, to, to kick a dead horse on mods. I just, I don't. But overwhelmingly, we've got, I got so many people overwhelmingly telling me, you please, can you tell me something about this downgrade for the Vita? Tell us about this downgrade. What do you mean? You can't downgrade the Vita. Uh, you know what? You're a lonely dude in his basement, never get a girlfriend. Makes me think of something. Damn. Maybe I'm right. Maybe they're right. I actually know. I'm, I got a fiance. I'm getting married. But the second thing is it reminds me of something about a person living in his basement. What on earth? Wow. The bat. Oh, uh, great, great. Uh, come on in. Uh, make yourselves at home. Uh, I'll be with you in one second. Mr. Mallory, my time is valuable. Please don't insult me by wasting it. If you have something to say to me, then... Oh, my God. You've solved it. Oh, that. Uh, yeah, I can explain. One second. Explain? This piece here is a proof of the unified field theory. That alone is the holy grail of theoretical physics. And this elegance is found here in the basement of this unknown, unkempt, unpublished, unfortunately brilliant, ill-mannered brat. It gets better. <laughs> anyway, better. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I wanted to do something special for these guys that who want the Vita um, the Vita. I have a special place in my heart amongst different gaming consoles. I love them all, but the Vita is is a particular one. And and let me explain a little bit real quick, guys, before I get into the video. The Vita is the most underrated console. I can't stress that enough. It is the most underrated console that ever was produced in the United States. What do I mean by that? This little handheld was able to communicate to a PS4, and you could play your PS4 games on the go using that as a controller. 
unless it's on the internet, it's online or whatever, you can communicate with your console, and that was that's beautiful. I mean, yes, you can do that now with the Nintendo Switch. You can bring the Switch with you or make it to a console, but the Vita's little, the Vita was just it did it first. It did it first, guys. Nintendo Switch did not do it. The Vita did it first. That's one. Two, for a handheld, that thing had a hell of a lot of graphics for that little handheld. The graphics were beautiful. So, why did Sony just decide to drop that console? I guess it was too new for a lot of people out there, or the price point was all. But you know what, Sony? Let's let's call a spade to spade. Sony. Sony. Your memory cards killed the console. To this day, right now, a 16 gig memory card you can get for like sixty dollars, because they're proprietary to the Vita. Think about that for a minute. Why did you go that far? It shouldn't have happened. Shouldn't have been the case. That's why your console failed. But it's okay. Um, if you look at my last video, it's going to be linked down below. Or hopefully I can get it at the end. Uh, hopefully they didn't change that. But if you look at the link, I show you guys two things. One, one of my dear friends, Easy Hacks, who has his own YouTube channel, a great friend as well. Um, you guys need to take a look at that. Um, he, uh, he gave me a, a special card that converts the Vita, like the Vita memory card, into a micro SD, and you can read off of that. So you can use the micro SD necessarily as extended memory for the Vita and download games to it, and that's why this hack was very important. That's one. Two, I don't have a PS Vita portable. I don't have one. Um, kind of expensive. I had one uh, broken, and the guy broke it so badly that I, I, I pretty much got taken on eBay. So it happens. I, I get taken sometimes, guys. It happens. But amongst that, I got a PS4 that wasn't taken, and actually a second PS4, and it works really well. I actually use that on streams with my fiance, May Lilies. Uh, she has her own Twitch channel, and I use that on Sundays to play Persona 5 and stream live with her. Excuse me. So, when I did this hack, it was for the Vita TV. And I'm going to stress this enough. It is for the Vita TV. Do not take this. It's not a hack, really. And I'll explain that in the video. It's not really a hack. But, you don't, uh, there's no downgrade. There's, officially, there is no downgrade for the Vita. There's no official downgrade. No modder, no hacker, no hacktivist has come up with one. The Vita is special. Unlike the PS4, every time they mod that console, or excuse me, let me correct myself, every time a firmware comes out for the PS4, it locks other firmwares behind it. That's what it does. The Vita does the same thing too, but it, they didn't think of that until later on, which is perfect for me, because my Vita TV is at 3.60. That's the original firmware. I'll explain about that later on in the, the mod, guys. So without further ado, I know it's about seven minutes of me talking to you guys, and you're probably bored as heck. But without further ado, let's get into the video, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Hey, everybody. Uh, so... Uh, to get this started, I figured I will show you it modded already, and then we're going to go ahead and I'll show you how that I um, bring it back to the original firmware that it came with. Now, this is not a downgrade. Do not take this as a downgrade. This ain't clickbait. I'm not going to say this is going to downgrade your PS Vita. Do this all the time. That's one. Two, this is a PlayStation television. I'm going to turn the camera just a little bit, and I'm going to zoom in. And there you go. It's on my PlayStation TV. Uh, this stand right here that you're seeing, I bought it from Etsy. They came out with a really wonderful stand. Let me see if I can try to show you. It has the logo. It says PlayStation TV on it. It's black. You can get them black or white. I kept it in black because it matches the console. And it looks really well. And it's clean. So that's why I got that for so just to show you, it's on the Vita stand, okay? So I'm going to pull back out a little. I'm going to turn the camera. All right. 
So we're on the main screen. As you can see, and let me go ahead and bring it up a little bit more so you guys can get a little bit more comfortable. Okay, we're on the main screen. Uh, let me get my controller and I will show you what I'm talking about. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is the settings. This is already uh, hacked, as you can see. There's molecular shell, there's Enzo. Um, I'm not gonna do the whole hack again. If you guys need me to do, see it again, I think I can link my video down below if you wanna see how uh, it was hacked and was done. It's a pain in the butt, I'm not gonna do it again, so. By the way, I do not own Saturday Morning Cartoon. That's a download, it's a ROM. It plays right off the Vita, because Saturday Morning Cartoon, Limited Run Games, I missed that run, and it's too much money online to get. Anyway, settings. We'll start it up. And as you can see, it says Henkaku settings. There's no such thing as Henkaku settings in the Vita. But I'm going to show you, regardless, what it looks like. System, system information. There you go. 3.60 Japanese letters uh, dash 10. I don't care about the MAC address. I don't care about the Wi-Fi because, let's face facts, I um, this console doesn't really go online too often for me to care. All right. So, now that I showed you everything, I'm going to try. I, I can't bring the camera over to show you what I'm doing. I am going to bring the camera a little bit to back to the Vita again so you can see what I'm, wh what I'm doing. And then I will try to pop up a diagram of the picture to show you or simulate the, the Vita being down. So, what are we doing? This is not for your Vita handheld. I don't know how to do that on the Vita handheld. Uh, I don't own a handheld Vita. It's really too pricey for me right now. I got this one right here for like $40 online, or $40 or $60 online. I thought it was phenomenal. I picked it up. So, just to give you guys a heads up. Move my chair out of the way, sorry. Behind here, on the top, I'm going to try turning it around as much as I can. On the top here, excuse me, uh, as you can see the wires are, I don't want to pull it because I don't want to pull the wires out. There's a button right here on the top of the Vita. If you hit it once, it goes to sleep. That's what it does. If you hit it again, it wakes the Vita up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to hold it down. It's kind of like the PlayStation uh, TV, uh, the PlayStation 3. So now the Vita's down and it's completely offline. So I'm going to turn it back on, but I'm going to hit it twice and then hold it. Let's see. What I'm simulating is I'm trying to get it back into safe mode. As you can see, it's not easy. The Vita doesn't allow you to do that often, or at least doesn't allow you to do it at all. And just keep in mind, like I said in the hacked video that I did to the Vita, uh... You can do whatever you want, but the PlayStation Store will not work. It just doesn't. They said it's a spoof method where you can look you can look at the PlayStation Store, but it won't let you to download nothing. It knows that this Vita is not kosher. It's like, okay. All right, so uh, I'm going to turn it back around, and I'm going to show you what it's telling me now so you guys can take a look. So like I said, I pushed it in twice, and before it loaded, I let go of the button. So let's go ahead and bring this back up. Uh, this looks should look familiar to everyone. This is something that you would normally see on the PlayStation 3. So same so same scenario, which is going to keep it going. So it's saying restart the system, rebuild database, restore the system, update system software. We're not doing none of this crap. The only thing we're going to be doing is restoring this this system. So the settings defaults will be uh, will be default value. Excuse me, and all data in this system storage will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? I'm going to make sure, rebuild database, you don't really need that. It's like trying to rebuild its factory settings. Do never do this when it's hacked. Please don't do this when it's hacked because you guys will screw your, your system up. I'm, I'm not trying to curse, but you will screw your system up, and I really don't want to see no one do that. So let's restore this system. I hit yes, and it's going to start to restore. Now, normally I would shut the camera off here, but I don't want you guys thinking I'm taking you guys for a ride. I'm not. Uh, I wanted to at least show you how the whole process looks like. It's going to really pretty much take you back to 
the operating system and it's going to think that this system is bought the first time around. As you can see, it's asking me what, uh, where I live. Is this a good setting? Yes, it is. And it's going to ask me the time. Sure. The date is fine. It is March 1st. I mean, March 4th. Where I live. Uh, yes, I do. I really don't care about the account because I'm not, I mean, like, again, the Vita is not going to go online like that, so. Birthday. Alright, I'll give you my birthday. Uh, I'll let these fine folks want to know when I was born. Uh, I'm a test tube, Tommy. A uh, test tube baby. So, I'm old. Anyway, it's set up. It'll tell you that I want to take you to the screen. And uh, once it does that, it's going to finalize everything. So there you go. It's asking me, do you want to link this account? Yeah, I mean, sure. Fine. I put a random account. I, I'm always Alucard. Uh, and uh, all my uh, handles, my net handles. So just to let you know, that's what I use. Not as cool as some folks. All right, so we're back here. As you can see, there is no Hankaku. There is no uh, Saturday morning cartoons. None of that is here. So let's go to settings. Let's see what what setting that it brings me to. There you go. Three point six zero is the setting. As you can see right here, there is no Japanese wording, no dashes. So pretty much all I have to do is go back to the Hankaku website and re-download it. Now, what happened here, right? Uh, what happened is two things. Sorry. What happened is two things. One, the operating system was restored to the Vita settings. What do, what do I mean by that? It went to safe mode and like a lot of people, it, it read it. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try to do this so that way it's not too technical for the guys who are not technical savvy. The Vitas come with basic software. The chip inside, it's called a NAND. It's an operating system that the Vita runs on. Now, when you have this operating system, you build on top of the NAND. That's how the operating system works. You build on top of that. And what it does is, it says, okay, you have this, this operating system, but... You found a new one that matches better, and a new one, and it races the operating system. That's all it does. It constantly races the operating system. I did not build on top of this. 3.60 is the main firmware I want the Vita TV to be at, because when I do Hankaku, I can spoof it to play games. It, you could spoof it to 3.65, I think it is, or 3.67. That's what it is right now. You could spoof it. I prefer it not to be spoofed. Only because, because I get to play around with it. I can put any game I want in there. And the game thinks the upper system is 3.67. It's not. That's how it works, guys. So, as you can see, this is not a downgrade. I did not modify the software. I did not do anything outside the boundaries but using Hankaku's website to mod the PS Vita. That's it. That's all I did. The system NAND had the basic firmware on it. 3.60. So... Like I told everyone before in my last videos, this Vita, or the Vita console, Vita TV, if you can find it in your local store, you can find it at a thrift store, you can buy it from Joe Schmo down the block, buy it. Keep it. The console is an underrated console. Nobody has it anymore. And the sad part is, it's because Sony didn't give it any, any love. It didn't, they didn't give love to the PS, PSP when it was here. They gave us three models, and... Each three models only approved on top of the other three models. That's all it did. It really wasn't the best. Um, but the Vita still sells hardcore in Japan. It doesn't sell too much in the States anymore. They don't make consoles, but they do sell, still make games. Go to your local PS, uh, your game stops or your local uh, play and trades. At least that's what I have in New York here. And pick up Vita stuff. Trust me. You will not disappoint. If you're a collector, this is a must. It's not like, oh, maybe I should do it. No, it's a must. Pick it up. Either way, guys, thank you for visiting today at The Vault, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.